guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to film a decluttering my Sephora loves list video. I've seen these videos here and there on YouTube and with the Sephora sale around the corner, I have really wanted to go ahead and you know, clean up this loves list because it's definitely my inspiration for things I want to buy during the sale. So this video might be long, and every time I wanted to remove a product from here, I'm like, no, 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 I'm gonna film this video. So without further blabbering, let's get into it. This one I kind of want, even though I really shouldn't be buying a $75 freaking lotion. This is the Sol de Janeiro Biggie Biggie Bum Bum Cream. This is supposed to be limited edition, which I don't understand why they're making a limited edition. There is 16.9 ounces of product in here. These Sol de Janeiro products, smell amazing especially if you are a fan of like suntan lotion smell and just like the smell of summer so yeah i'm gonna keep it on my loves list but i don't think i'll actually make the purchase during the sephora sale the next thing on here is the huda beauty the overachiever high coverage concealer in the shade toasted almond and i actually bought one of these concealers i did go for a different shade then the one that Sephora recommended to me, I bought the shade Granola, and it's actually the concealer I have on my under eyes today. I actually really like this concealer, so if you wanted to try it out, I would definitely recommend it. I'm going to go ahead and take Toasted Almond off my loves list because I don't think I'm going to need another one at this time. Okay, the next thing on my list is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4. And this is an $80 palette. It's currently out of stock on Sephora.com. And the reason I actually don't need to buy this palette is because I actually have two of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit palettes from previous collections. And I'm nowhere near making a dent in either one of those. So I'm actually going to go ahead and delete that off my loves list as well. This product I'm really curious about. It's the Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip Cleanser for $35. They actually reformulated this. It used to be in a different kind of container and everything. And I love a good face wash and Sunday Riley is one of my favorite skincare brands. So I'm very, very curious to try this out and I will be keeping that on my loves list. So personally, I've tried quite a few of the Sephora collection face masks and they always do a set during the holidays. And typically the set is a good deal. So there is a $25 value face mask set and it looks really cute and just fun for the holidays. I am not going to purchase this though because I have so many face masks. So even though I think it's good value and it actually might make a really good gift too if there's somebody out there that you would like to gift this to. But in my personal opinion, I don't need this so I'm going to be deleting it off. <sighs> the next thing I added on here is the Lineage Kiss and Makeup set. Now everyone is obsessed with the Laneige sleep mask or whatever. I remember when Kathleen Lights first spoke about it. I feel like the internet just like broke and everyone was buying it. I feel like it sold out. And now they have the original and a few different flavors. And I did buy the original and I wasn't very interested in it. It didn't do a whole lot as far as hydration was concerned. I definitely like the By Beauty Agave mask and the sugar lip balms a whole lot better than this guy and so I put this on here just to be like oh should I buy it and try it again but realistically I don't need to try it again and I don't need more lip balms so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that set as well the next product I want to buy is the milk makeup Longwear gel eyeliner for $22 now I don't particularly love the brand Milk Makeup but I did see Mel Thompson talk about these eyeliners in a video and she seems to really like the Milk Makeup eyeliner and I'm always down to find a nice, smooth, well-gliding, long-lasting black eyeliner. And since she had talked about it, I wanted to try it and that's a $22 eyeliner and I'm planning on picking it up during the sale. The next few things that are on here are lipsticks. I have the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Unbutton and this is a peachy nude shade. And I really was curious about these, but that particular shade, I did see some of my friends with similar skin tones to me wearing, and I wasn't impressed with the color. So I am planning on skipping on that shade, but I do like the shade Unveil, which is a chocolate brown. So I'm going to keep that on my list. And then 
I also want to try the shade Uncuffed, which is a rosy mauve. So I will probably pick up those two during the sale. The next thing on here are a few products from Kat Von D. If you don't like Kat Von D, please just calm down. It's going to be fine. I saw this set called the Best of Nudes Mini Studded Kiss Creme Lipstick Set. And I was immediately interested because I do love Kat Von D's nude shades. So it says it's a limited edition set featuring six best-selling mini studded Kiss Creme Liquid Lipsticks for everyday epic nude lip looks. And the shades in here are, let's see here, Ophelia, Hawkwind, Bow and Arrow, Sanctuary, Crucifix. So like really beautiful shades and like... I know Hawkwin I really like to wear and I am so curious about this set. It's $44, but honestly, I don't wear cream lipsticks. I just don't. Like, it doesn't happen for me with my job. I don't want to sit there and, like, reapply lipstick, you know, every hour. So I much rather just wear a liquid lipstick. I don't really have to touch up. And it usually fades pretty flatteringly for me. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on that set and just take it off my list. The other thing I had on here is the Fetish Eyeshadow Palette, also by Kat Von D. This is her holiday palette. I love the green shade in here. It's called like Le Petit Mort or something like that. Other than that, this palette really does not draw me in. I just kind of put it on my loves list so I could, you know, think about it. And honestly, I don't care. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off my list. The Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the Pressed Highlighter called Gold Lava. Kind of looks interesting, but honestly, I'm not going to buy any more highlighters. I have too many highlighters, so I'm taking that one off my list. I don't know why I put this Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation on my loves list. I've never tried anything from Wonder Beauty. I really don't want to try anything from Wonder Beauty, so I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Here's a product I really want to buy. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. I saw a girl named Kaushala. She is a Indian British YouTuber and she's big. Her channel is big. And I saw her do a little like Instagram video with it and I was like, oh. And I don't even like cream products, but she made it look so easy to use that I'm all about this contour wand. So I will definitely be picking that up during the sale. So I found this Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick in the shade Styling, which is a coral orange, and that one was inspired by one of my favorite bloggers, Emily from Cupcakes and Cashmere. I love her coral lips. She's always wearing like this bright, corally red lips. One day I was just looking up the shades and I found this coral shade, and I want it, but honestly, I don't need any more lipsticks, so I'm gonna take it off my list. I also added the Cover FX Power Play Concealer for $30 on here because I saw Tara Babies say that she really, really liked it. But you guys, I have so many concealers right now, I really can't justify it picking any more up. The Tatcha Essence Pumping Skin Softener. I've seen so many YouTubers talk about this particular product, but it's $95 freaking dollars. That's insane. And I don't have a ton of things from Tatcha that I use on a daily basis, so I'm really curious because I feel like for $95, like, you better give me a new face, child. Uh, so the Sephora Collection Lip Potion Mini Creme Lip Satin Set for $12. They come out with one of these every year, and I've picked up, I think, two or three of these sets. I have some sitting here right next to me, and I think these are such a great size because God only knows I'm never gonna get through my liquid lipstick, so I love having these little ones. You can toss them in your purse, you can share them with friends. So these shades are not really very unique, but I might pick this up. I'm not sure yet. I feel like I had said no to myself, but like $12, like really, are you gonna really feel bad about spending $12 on liquid lipsticks? I like the formula too, so. I really wanna try this Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm All Over Diamond Veil Highlighter. I wasn't gonna buy it, but then I saw my friend Maggie wearing it on Instagram, and she's like, you should get it, and I was like, okay. Um, but I wanna wait for a sale, so that's what I'm gonna do, and that's $38. I kinda want this by Beauty Agave Tree Trio Mini Agave Lip Mask Set. For $18, you get some baby little agave lip masks, so. I think that's cool. And then I have two mascaras on here. One is the Marc Jacobs Beauty Velvet More Major Volume Mascara for $26. And the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara 
for $29. I cannot imagine paying the price of half an eyeshadow palette on a mascara, so I will be taking both of those off my list. I got a sample of this and I thought it smelled really good. It is the Clean Reserve Rain perfume and it smells amazing, but I need a perfume like I need a hole in my head, so I will be going ahead and taking those two off. And then I have two, a shampoo and a conditioner from the dry bar on here. It is the On The Rocks Lightweight Replenishing Conditioner and Clarifying Charcoal Shampoo. I probably don't need these. They're $26 a piece. And I, was, I had them on there because I am on the hunt for a shampoo for greasy hair. If you guys have any recommendations, please leave me a comment down below on how I can get my hair to be less greasy so I don't have to wash it all the time. That would be excellent. Thank you very much. I also have the NARS Orgasm Infatuation Palette on here. This palette is so pretty, but I don't want the Orgasm Blush. It is the Laguna Bronzer, which is too light for me, so I will be deleting that off my loves list. I already bought this Beauty Blender Sweet Indulgence set, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that for $65. I kinda want the Summer Friday Overtime Mask for $44. I did buy their Jet Lag Mask, and honestly, guys, I must say, I feel like that was definitely overhyped. It's not like a life-changing mask for me by any means, so I would not recommend that mask to you guys. I have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter Mini Macaron Set. Everyone is crazy for this set. I honestly have so many Becca highlighters, I don't need any more, so I'm deleting that off my list. I have some Jouer Cosmetics Longwear Lip Cremes on here. I have the shade Sangria Matte, which is a deep auburn, and a shade called Aubergine Matte which is a deep mauve. Those shades both look gorgeous. But you guys, I literally have, where is it? I have a whole container of Jouer lip cream somewhere here in my collection. And I just don't need more. I don't need more liquid lipstick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do myself a favor. And I'm gonna delete that off of my Loves list. Okay, I don't know. I must have been high when I put these on here. I, I don't, I'm not, I don't get high. It was, it was just a figure of speech, okay? La Mer Treatment Lotion Hydrating Mask. These are $150 for six masks. I'm not buying $150 anything, so gonna delete that. I also have the Dry Bar, the Brush Crush Heated Straightener Brush. For $145, I actually bought this because I was so curious to try it. And personally for me, it didn't work. I did talk to my hairstylist about it and she's like, yeah, I don't know. She's like, basically you still have to like separate your hair. So it's like having to straighten your hair anyway. It's not like a brush where you can just brush your hair and your hair is automatically straightened. So it's kind of a scam product, even though I like the hair tools from Dry Bar. I would not recommend that product and I'm taking that off my loves list. I have a chart knockout tingling treatment on here. This one Stephanie Nicole has been raving about, but honestly you guys, putting acids on my face fucking freaks me out. This is like a pH resurfacing something something something. So I'm I'm actually chicken to buy that. I'm gonna leave it on my loves list just as a reminder, but I'm not gonna buy it right away. Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I already bought that and I really like that foundation so I don't need to leave that on my list for right now so I'm taking it off. Natasha Denona Mark Your Liquid Lip Matte in the shade Soho, 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 Soho Kisses. I don't know, 25 bucks. I haven't heard anybody talk about Natasha Denona's liquid lipsticks and I'm not about to be the first so I'm taking that off. I bought the Way Scalp and Body Scrub for $38. Honestly, it smells amazing but I'm not seeing anything life-changing happening on my head, so I'm thinking about taking that back. The Ciate Astrologist High Shadow Palette in the shade Drooled, it's 35 bucks. Everyone seems to love Ciate that I've heard talk about it, but I'm not particularly drawn to this palette. It's kind of a basic palette, so I'm gonna do myself a favor and <laughs> take that off my list. I really want the Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid eyeshadow in the shade Vivid Smoky Quartz Express Espresso for $24, but I don't need it. So I'm gonna take those off because I feel like my Stila and Glittering Glows and Shimmer and Glows do not get enough love in my collection anyway. So I'm gonna take them off so that I'm not tempted. I have wanted to try the NARS Pro Primer Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base for years because Casey Holmes talks about that 
and it's her favorite freaking eyeshadow primer and I'm still, you know, it's always coming up on my list of like, oh, I should try that, I should try that, and I never end up like pulling the trigger on it, so I'm just going to leave it on my loves list. I really want the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Woodstock. It's a sparkling hot pink. And like I've said in other videos, I love wearing pink eyeliner and pink eyeshadow. So I think having a pink eyeliner would really, really help me out. Um, Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Mamacita, which is a spicy orange red for $20. I feel like I love spicy orange reds, but I have already bought so many of them that I don't need to keep more. Makeup Forever 5 Camouflage Creme Palette for color correcting and concealing. This is $40. I wanted to buy this to help with my dark circles, but I actually bought the one from MAC, so I'm going to go ahead and take this one off. The Fresh Seaberry Moisturizing Face Oil. Stephanie Nicole talks about this one as well, so I'm going to keep it on there in case someday I decide to pick it up. I really want this Tatcha Violet C Radiance Mask, but it's 68 bucks. So we'll see, maybe I'll pick it up as a winter treat. Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. I believe Stephanie Nicole talks about that one as well. It's $68. I don't know how I feel about a kombucha facial treatment essence for $68. Then I have these three Versace fragrances. There is a Bright Crystal, there is a Dylan Blue Pour, and a Bright Crystal Pure Spray. These are all like in the $30 range, which confuses me. But I do love Versace's Bright Crystal. It's my favorite fragrance of all time. But I don't need perfume right now. I've bought so many, so I'm going to go ahead and pass. Tatcha the Deep Cleanse. I've heard so many good things about this facial cleanser. Again, it is $38, and I'm not like, like in need of a cleanser right now, but I really want to try that one because I've heard really, really good things. Glam Glow Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Form Foam. Cleanser. I really like this cleanser. It's $32. I have owned it before when it was in the pump, but they repackaged it and put it in a squeezy tube, which I reckon is a good idea because it's going to make it easier to use. The Glam Glow Superman Mask is like the best one in my opinion. I haven't bought the pot in a while because my skin's been relatively good. I haven't had any like crazy bad breakouts, but if you have acne prone skin, oh my gosh, I would totally recommend. The next thing on here is the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Eyeshadow Palette in the shade the Rebel Green and Rose Gold. $53 for four eyeshadows. I don't need it, so I'm gonna delete it. Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Glow Mini. So this is a mini size, $23. I have so many loose setting powders, I don't need it. Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Lips Liquid Lipstick in the Scent Screen Siren Classic Ruby Red for $34. I know my friend Nethmi has some of these Hollywood lips and she says they're really good, but I don't need any lipsticks, so I'm taking it off. The two products I am interested in from Charlotte Tilbury are her Cheek to Cheek Blush in the color Sex on Fire for $40 and the Bar of Gold Highlighting Palette for $58. I'm not going to get any more highlighters, so I'm going to take the Bar of Gold one off and I don't need any blushes either, so I'm going to take that off. $40 for blushes, way too expensive for me. I also have the Hollywood Flawless Filter on here for $44. I don't need it. I have the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Contour Door for $68. I don't really contour, and I feel like the bronze shade is more ashy, so I'm going to pass on that. I have heard really good things about the Airbrush Flawless Finishing Setting Powder for $45. I don't think I'm going to buy that this sale, but I'm going to keep it on my list just in case. I smelled the Mason Margilla, I don't know how to say it, Replica Beach Walk scent one time at a Sephora and it smells amazing. It's $126 for a bottle of this uh, scent. Um, I don't need it right now, so I'm just going to leave it on my list, but I'm not planning on picking it up anytime soon. Sephora Collection. Pro Drying Detailer Brush Number 40 for $18. I think I bought some of those during one of those weekly wows. I have the Urban Decay Born to Run Eyeshadow Palette on here. I already bought that, so I don't need to leave that on my list anymore. The First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. I don't think they have a shade that works for me. The First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Kona Eye Stick for $24. Was gross. I returned it. The Ula Hendrickson Cold Plunge Pore Mask for $36 is a beautiful color. That blue is gorgeous. I actually have a sample of it and I don't think I'm the target audience for that mask so I will be deleting it. 
I do have a Jouer Blush Bouquet Dual Blush Palette here in Coquette. I know Samantha March loves her little Jouer Blush Palette, and personally, I just don't think that shade is going to work for me, so I'm going to take it off. I also have their foundation on here, but I don't need it, so I'm going to take it off. The Kat Von D Locket Foundation, I don't need it. NARS Sun Wash Diffusing Bronzer in the shade Casino, which is for medium skin tones, $40. I honestly have enough bronzers right now, so I'm going to take it off. I really do want to buy a full size of the Hourglass Ambient Light Lightning Bronzer sometime, but it's 50 bucks, so I don't know if I'm going to do that this time. Okay, I really want this highlighting palette. It's the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I really, really, really almost picked it up during the Rouge Appreciation Sale, but I decided to pass on it because I don't need any more highlighters. And then I bought it back on my loves list because so many people have such positive things to say about that particular highlighting palette that I can't seem to forget about it so it is on my loves list and it's going to stay there. I've seen Tati use this Nurse Jamie Uplifting Massaging Beauty Roller for $69. I personally have no idea if the damn thing works and I don't need to spend that kind of money so I'm taking it off. La Mer, the powder brush, just one of those things to aspire to for $85. Youth of the People Super Berry Hydrating Glow Oil. For $44. I think I must have put it on there when I was looking for oils. Don't need it. Pharmacy Skin Do Hydrating Essence Mist and Setting Spray. Don't need it. Marc Jacobs The Bronzer Brush for $78. Don't need it. The original Marc Jacobs Bronzer Brush for $78. I might need it. The Youth of the People Superfood Antioxidant Cleanser. I actually like that cleanser so much. I've actually repurchased it this time during the appreciation sale because it works really well as my morning cleanse. So if you're looking for something that is antioxidant and will cleanse your face but not strip your skin, I would totally recommend that thing for 38 bucks. Plus it lasted me for freaking ever. The last thing on my Sephora loves list is the Sephora Collection foot mask because I have dry ass fucking feet and <laughs> I love to stock up on those because they're like the lazy girl hack for hydrating your feet. You just put them on and go to bed. That's what I do. Okay guys, I know I'm gonna have so much fun editing this video because I'm gonna sit there and copy paste all these pictures of all these products I just talked about. But on the plus side, we did declutter my Sephora loves list, so I am excited about that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know your Sephora picks down in the comments with the sale coming up, you know, let's trade some products tell me your best Sephora products so I can remember to check them out and maybe pick some things up during the sale it's like my Super Bowl you guys I just like I'm like what should I get what should I get I'm all over the place so anyway thank you and we'll see you in the next video bye